So this is lesson two of two for um, Dan's parents, Giuseppe's granny and granddad. <laughs> and you remember last week he was quite naughty on the lead until we put him on the prong. So they've been walking him on the prong and uh, you can see he's walking much nice, nice. That you don't want. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So he did well there. Before I started the video, he actually put his hackles up on his shoulder slightly, which is just uncertainty. Just because there's some kids in that. But then he's all right. He didn't bark. He didn't squeal. He didn't didn't do anything. So that's good. So we've got a, a border collie, and border collies do trigger a lot of dogs just because of the movement. Border collie all the way up there through yeah, the gate, good. and a cocker. Oh, a cocker, is it? Yeah. So oh, see how he's moved forward. He's moved his position now, so you correct that. Stop. 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 Like an arm rubber in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. So if he keeps doing it, be firmer Stop. because he's not taking. Stop. He's not taking you seriously. Stop. Oh, you worried that little spaniel. So again, just tell him this way or whatever. Giuseppe, come. Come on. Good boy. Ah. Sit. Now there you're dancing to his tune. Yeah, yeah. I realised what I was So press. Giuseppe, come. Keep press. Good. So when he comes to you, release your button. Good boy, make him sit. Get his collar. Good. Very nice. Sit. Sit. And he's not to move until you give him his release command. So if he moves before you give it, repeat your sit. He's waiting. Okay. Good. That was a better, more controlled release. Giuseppe, come. Good. Goodbye. Good. Sit. Sit. Good. Bye. Beautiful. That's much better. Sit. See, he's in the, He's done this with Dan a few times. He's releasing himself. I've pointed that out. Nice. Almost nice, but he didn't come to you. 